Welcome to a new episode in the 23 part collection. This is 23 Michael Jordan videos in 23 days. Today we have a very interesting one. I was watching a video the other week and it was Jimmy Highroller's Pyramid of NBA Greats. I thought to myself, what do all these NBA greats think of Michael Jordan, who is the greatest? It got me thinking and I produced this video with all the plays that you see on screen and their thoughts on Michael Jordan. This video took a while to edit, so I really hope you do enjoy it. I would really appreciate if you guys could hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and hit that notification button so you are notified when a new episode releases. There's a playlist on the top right of your screen that has all the MJ videos that we've done so far in the collection and in the description box down below. And all the footage that is used in this video is also featured on the screen and in the description box as well. So be sure to check them out in their entireties. I don't want to keep you guys waiting, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. From time to time, we've heard Michael's own thoughts on his exploits, but now we'd like to get the viewpoints of some of the all-time greats of the NBA. A hot topic of conversation always in the media is a legacy, right? Player's legacy, you're having a great season, you're having one of the best postseasons ever. 13 games with at least 30 points. And um, some are comparing you to, to Michael Jordan and saying how this could really positively affect your legacy, right? Is legacy as it's portrayed by the media important to you? Um, I mean, I've never been, you know, one of those guys that, you know, growing up in high school, getting all the media and the college media. So I don't really think my legacy is gonna ever reach the potentials of Michael Jordan. And I know you said before you can't predict the future. Yes. But uh, Michael Jordan had four straight 40 point games against the Suns in the NBA Finals. I'm not Michael Jordan. Is that in jeopardy? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not Michael Jordan. Uh, four 40 points in a <laughs> straight two. Four in a row. <laughs> yeah, I've never, uh, no, I'm not Michael Jordan. If there was one area uh, of weakness people thought was a weakness was Michael Jordan was his outside shooting. And Michael, uh, uh, he went one step beyond. He even improved his three-point shooting, mate. And, and now he's uh, pretty proficient shooting from the three-point line. It, it just, it's just impossible to defend him. Michael seems to be a different type of player. I've never seen anyone come to the jump stops, put the defense. He just seems to find holes in the defense. And I've never seen anyone like him. I think he's the best. Chuck Bailey said to uh -huh. me, he said, Charles, can I talk to you a second? I said, yeah, Chuck, anything. He said, you're the second best basketball player in the world. I said, who bet me? He says, that mump right there. I says, you're right about that. I, 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 I says, but thank you. And, I said, and I've said it many times, that's the best compliment I've ever gotten from yeah. somebody. Listen, Michael's the best I've ever seen. I played against Michael a lot. We came into the NBA together. So I played against him. I was in the NBA for 16 years. I think he played 12 or 13, uh, retired early and blah, blah, blah. But. When I got to Phoenix, I told those guys the first day, I said, guys, we're going to the finals. We're going to play that mother from Chicago. I said, I'm sick of people telling me he's betting me. I just didn't have no help in Philly. Yeah. And I said, we're going to play them for, in the championship. And we got there and they beat it. And that, and, and that was the first time I ever said in my life, damn, I think there's somebody better than me at basketball. That was the first time in your life. In my whole life. But when Chuck gave me that compliment, it meant a great deal to me. Jordan to steal, tight ropes the sideline, all the way to the hoop for the dunk. Michael Jordan, I want to go say hi to Michael, right? I go up and shake his hand. He says, I'm going to dunk on you, big fella. And I was thinking, what? I, he doesn't this guy didn't even know me. I was like, where did that come from? So I'm like, if you even come close to the basket, then I'm going to take you out of the air. He's like, nope, I've dunked on all the other big fellas in your day. You know, that was kind of my welcome to the NBA moment. I have great respect for Mike. Michael and I, I think we're friends. I mean, at least for my part, we're friends. And I don't just want to sit there and go, my, Michael, you're wonderful. I, I mean, even though I feel that way, yeah. he is. Yeah. Uh, and it just isn't, it isn't my way. You only stroke a guy so much. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's, he's a great player. Anybody that asks me, I'll tell him. I, I, he's, he's in the, maybe the top player of all time. I mean, I, I hold him in that kind of regard, but it, it doesn't mean I need to sit around there and, and uh, Tell them about it all the yeah, time. Yeah. Tell everybody about it all the time. Yeah. How was it checking MJ? 
Well, I've been checking him for seven years behind the curtain in practice, so uh, it, it was kind of tough because I didn't, I didn't want him to embarrass me out on the court. But, you know, Michael's one of the greatest players to ever play the game, and it's, it's tough to shut him down. And uh, I realized that throughout my career I had a lot of fun with him, and I really appreciate him. On, on the other hand, I, I think the fans here really appreciate the great enthusiasm that Michael has brought to the game of basketball, and especially to Chicago Stadium. Well, the, the, the thing that amazes me about Michael Jordan and about, uh, the, I think, the rest of the players in the league is his stamina and his endurance. The thing that uh, I wasn't able to do, the thing that Magic wasn't able to do, we, we succumbed to injuries. Uh, we didn't have the type of stamina, the type of energy level that Michael seems to possess every single night, whether he's playing against the worst team in the league or the best team in the league. He has an energy level that's unmatched by any other player or any other athlete that I've seen in professional sports. His energy level is so, so much greater than ours, it seems, that night in, night out, he, he's there performing at a level that we, frankly, just weren't able to reach, and that's why he's there tonight, uh, healthy and trying to three-peat, and Magic and I succumbed to injury. High praise, that's for sure, Isaiah. I come from a Jordan era. I am biased, and I'm going to be a bias to the day I pass away. Michael Jordan will be my I goal. I always loved you. I love you even more. Oh, no, he will be my goal. But that doesn't mean anything. I'm not taking anything away from LeBron. LeBron is amazing, but Michael Jordan is my goal. I play basketball because of Michael Jordan. What Jordan has done, the blueprint that he has laid is incredible, and it's amazing. And I'm thankful for it because I'm able to take a little bit of that and go do my own thing. It was 97, we was in Minnesota, and Flip had switched and put me on Michael Jordan, one of the greatest, probably ever touched the ball. And we was on the right side of the court, and I counted his dribbles. I was able to catch his, his dribbles, you know? One, two, come back, cross over. He crossed it back over, one, two. When he crossed back over, I stole it. Give me this. Very next play down, we go down, score. The very next play, they call it the very next play. This is, this is no sauce. I count the dribbles. One, two, come across. When I blinked, he was gone. I turned around, he was dunking the ball, giving somebody dap and halfway down the court that fast. That's what I knew. Michael Jordan wasn't human. I grew up in the 90s. Uh, that was my era. Uh, I watched the Bulls all the time. You know, growing up in the, in the 90s, Michael Jordan will always be the, the GOAT. Uh, always. I don't care who comes along. I was a huge, huge fan and, and to put us in that category, I would, I would never even go near that. Michael Jordan used to always say that you was his favorite player and you was the one he always looked to. When you used to see yeah. him play, did you see the similarities? You know, my particular style of play was really rooted in solid fundamental approach to, to playing the game. And with one uh, exception, uh, when handling the ball, uh, you know, I always would look for daylight, you know, wherever there was daylight. And sometimes, you know, there'd only be a little bit of daylight, like between two players, and find a way to get the ball between there and your body through there. And a palm and a ball, or, you know what I'm saying, the dunk style and stuff like that. Did you see the similarities of seeing that he was watching? You know, I, I would always see daylight, and maybe I could see daylight that a lot of other players couldn't see. And I see a lot of extraordinary players today, Jordan and Drexler. And, and what have you, they see daylight where other players don't see that. And it was funny because I, I I remember he came down and he dunked on like a whole team. <laughs> and then I went down and dunked on his team. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever, I was looking at him, he was looking at me. And, and he was like, I could do it again, you know. <laughs> I, like, <laughs> I said, well, all right, well, I only get one shot at it. Uh, you know, I made it, so. <laughs> right. But, but, but it was fun and, and you know, we, those years when we overlapped, we kind of, I caught him before he really hit his stride. You know, I, I mean, I always liked him. And I always felt that he had a lot of respect. And he had a lot of admiration. And, you know, he was going to carry the torch. Yeah. And uh, he, he certainly desired uh, to do it. Did a hell of a job. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He did a hell of a job, yeah. You obviously got to play against Michael a lot on the court. What? What was it about him that made him so special? Determination, man, to win and be great. You know, you could see it in, you know, I remember back when Mike's first year in, uh, in pros, you know, he's just a great guy, man. You know, he got the attitude for be a great guy. Determination and the pride, you know, to be great. 
So when I say the name Michael Jordan, what comes to mind? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Well, what is, like, what else I need to say? We was playing uh, Chicago in Salt Lake. They switched and put John Stockton on it, and he turned around and dunked on Stockton. So some guy got up and almost followed him down the sideline and said, hey, Jordan, pick on somebody your own size. Next time down the floor, he dunked on Mel Turpin and went over and looked at the guy and said, was he big enough? Who was your favorite five over the years, over the history? You mean over the total NBA? Yeah, the total NBA from when you oh. played to now, who was your favorite five? Not your top five, but your, just your favorite five. Well, I'm going to say uh, Jordan. You know, it's difficult in different ages and whatnot to say this guy was better than this player than that player. Yeah. Just give but, everybody you know, their respect. But, but, but it's going to happen. You know, I, I, I think it's great for the fans to say the players of this age are greater than anything else that ever played, which is all right. I really like Michael Jordan, and he and I are friendly. This guy has done more spectacular things than any basketball player I've ever seen. I agree. I mean, that, that, that's, Jerry, that is saying a lot. I agree. He just stands apart from every player I've ever seen. That, that speaks volumes. And the thing that people don't realize is some of the stuff he could do. I don't think there's any flaw in this guy's game. He's the best defensive player in the league, in my opinion. He's the best competitor in the league, in my opinion. He's by far the best offensive player, in my opinion. He's the best clutch player in the game. He's got the whole package, and his skill level, on top of that enormous physical package, really sets him apart from the other players. He was the best defensive player in the league. Yes, oh, he was yes absolutely. He was the best offensive player. Right. And his athleticism, he was in Carolina, and they were running, I forget, 100 or 40-yard dash. Mm -hmm. He ran at some spectacular time. Wow. And one of the coaches said something to him differently. And he, he said, oh, I can do better than that. Wow. He went out two-tenths of a second faster. Wow. wow. The legend of Michael Jordan just get told every mm -hmm. single day. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a Michael Jordan story getting being told by somebody on earth right now. You know, he was the standard. He was what you strive to be as a as a basketball player. To, you know, have so many stories and just know what he brought to the game and know how much he changed the game and then to have him walk in and just and to see that in form is just like damn, it was just it's captivating, you know. He's just a polarizing figure. He's built himself up to that point. It's like he's almost 60 years old, and we still view him as the best player in <laughs> yeah. basketball, you know? So um, he went on a historic run that'll never be matched by anybody in the sport. But to see how he led by example every night was the same. You know, he dominated. And that was simply, that's just simply the best leadership quality is to go out there and play a game as hard as you can, play to win, and play at that elite level, you know? And he was at that masterful level of, of, of you know, just his skills for the game, his IQ for the game, and just and his athleticism, it all combined at once and made just a, you know, God-level player, in my opinion. I love MJ, that's my guy. How many times he been there? Six. Six. How many times know, he won? I know, I know. Six. <laughs> like, listen. <laughs> I mean, everybody love MJ. As a fan, as, a, as, as somebody who just love, you know, like creativity, competition. Especially in, in, in the way that you play the game, you could impact the game on both ends of the floor. And you always, I'm sure you always felt like there was time for you to, to flip a switch and, and get things back under control. True. Uh, he's obviously, he's the GOAT. What if we could send Michael Jordan uh, back to playing uh, basketball with you in your prime? Michael Jordan is one of those rare specimens that could have played at any particular time and is a gifted, uh, gifted athlete who uh, is using those gifts uh, in basketball incredibly so. I've been watching. We'll give you a couple of talks soon, man. All right. So, what was going on in that conversation? Well, I just went over to say hello to him, and uh, I was like everybody else. I meant all. He has been the liaison between uh, something that's not so good and making it great for all the rest. I think that almost every man in the NBA should give him 10% of their checks. So I have watched him a lot, and I know what a great player he is, but I've never really... Um, <laughs> I don't know how to like him for him. I was never a Bulls fan. I was never a, a Jordan fan. Just, it just didn't, uh, didn't vibe with me. Listen, Jordan was, was the greatest in my opinion. Is he the best to ever play the game? Oh, yeah. 
all the shit you see on your poster, like he's doing it in real life. Like he came by me so fast one time, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, yeah, I was, I, I was terrified. Any draft, you know, with uh, Michael Jordan in that draft, I'm very, very happy that I played that era because that was the golden era of basketball. He'll laugh and smile with you, just like he did in, in, in Shoot Around with me. He'll smile, hug me. What's up, my boy? Yeah, yeah. He trying to soften you up. He gonna kill you. See, then he gonna smile and laugh with you after the game. See, Michael is like that. That's why you almost can't beat him. The only thing I can see that's a, a weakness to Michael Jordan is the fact that uh, if he shows up and he just don't want to play and then only score 30 and start a 50. Michael Jordan is not only the best basketball player, but he's the most exciting basketball player to ever play. We, we only dream about doing things that he can do. And that's what made him Michael Jordan. One similarity, I guess there are many, but one that strikes me between you and Michael Jordan, Larry, is that killer instinct, totally ruthless on the court. You had that, and Michael does too. Well, that's awful nice, Bob, comparing me to Michael Jordan. Probably the greatest player in the game right now. I can tell you some things that happened in the games against us. One time I turned, I jumped, and he still went. His knees almost hit me in the chin. <laughs> and that's when I realized that this guy's pretty special uh, for his jumping ability, but cat quick. Uh, he closed down a pass lane as fast as anybody ever seen, and, and just a phenomenal player. A type of player that can go to another level anytime he wants to. Michael was a great player, and I just tried to do the best I could against him. Because it's one thing in watching him play, and then it's another thing in playing against him. He's now in a postgraduate course. Yeah, boy. Accelerated learning. His technique was flawless. I wanted to make sure my technique was just as flawless. Been down a half court and he wanted to know how, when I turn around on my jump shot, how to feel the defense. I told him you should feel the defense with your legs. Once you feel the defense with your legs, you can take advantage of that. That was very inspiring. That's one of the few guys that I would pay to watch play because he is so talented and, uh, and so much fun to watch. And if they can get some, a couple more just good players with him, They'll be uh, championship contenders. As soon as he came into the league, he started leading, leading the league in scoring. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, I knew he could do it. And James Worthy said, "Watch this guy. He's gonna he's gonna be something." And he was absolutely right. Are you better than Jordan? I'm not better than him, but I was at least as effective as he was. You know, I wear the number because of Mike. Uh, I think I fell in love with the game because of Mike. You know, when you're growing up and you're seeing Michael Jordan. You, it's almost like a god. Um, the way that he approached the game, the way that he led his troops when he went out on the court, uh, and his never say die attitude, man, was uh, was something I always looked up to. For my name to come up in a discussion with the greatest basketball player of all time, uh, it's like it was like wow. I did pretty much everything that MJ did when I was a kid. I shot fadeaways before I should have. I, I wore a leg sleeve on my leg and folded it down so you saw the red part. I wore black and red shoes with white socks. I wore short shorts cause you, so you could see my undershorts underneath. But I did everything Mike did, man. I wanted to be Mike. And uh, so for my name to come up in any discussion with Michael Jordan, so it's just a wow factor. I don't really have nothing to say. First of all, you're, you're never going to say who's the greatest of all time. To me, I think that's, that's more for PR and more for selling stories and, and getting hype. It's an unfair parallel. It's an unfair choice. This is one way you can judge the two. How much impact did each change or evolve the game? And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please help me out by hitting that like button, subscribe if you're new, and here are two new Michael Jordan videos I think that you will also enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next one.